Hello, my beautiful Leos. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com. Here to bring your monthly forecast for will your ex return for March. Guys, you can check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, what are we going to go over today? How does your ex feel about you? Do they love you? Are they feeling you? Okay. What's the blockages between you guys? What's keeping you guys apart? How does this person feel about reconciling with you in the month of March? And will you guys reconcile in the month of March? And of course, some advice at the end from the Romance Angels, which of course you don't have to take if you don't want to. You have free will, so you don't have to take the advice. All right, so let's jump right in. How does my Leo's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about the, one, the most, the one they turn this video on for, how does my Leo's ex love interest feel about my Leo's for the month of March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. How does my Leo's ex feel about my Leo's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Leo, they feel passionate about you. They really want to renew their passion with you with the Ace of Wands energy, okay? They feel like this opportunity is a missed opportunity between you and them with the Four of Cups energy, or they feel like if they had this renewed opportunity, this wouldn't be accepted by you with the Four of Cups energy. They feel like they want you to see things from a new way and a new perspective, or they feel like there's something immature there with the Page of Swords energy. They feel like um, they feel like something's deceptive or sneaky, or someone's not being honest here with the Seven of Swords energy. Um, they feel like they would like to send you a message of some kind of long-term commitment, or they would like to take a new path in some kind of long-term commitment here. Okay, so. They feel like they would like something new or a new idea, or they'd like to see things, they'd like you to see things from a new perspective. Um, they feel like you have maybe more than one choice or option here, Leo, with the Four of Cups energy, or whatever they feel like they would offer to you, you wouldn't accept it. And they feel like, you know, um, they, they feel like they can't be honest with you with the Seven of Swords energy, or they feel like something is deceptive or sneaky. Uh, possibly about a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy because the Seven of Swords is looking over at that. They feel like they want a renewed passion with you with the Ace of Wands and they feel like they would like to take um, a path, a new path with you, sometimes long-term commitment with the Page of Pentacles or something to do with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So they want to see things from a new way and a new perspective. They feel like they want to see things or do things from a new way and a new pers do pers perspective. Because of the Four of Cups, because of a missed opportunity, or because of the fact that whatever's going to be offered to you won't be accepted. They feel like they, they can't be honest with you about this with the Seven of Swords energy, and they feel like they want some kind of renewed opportunity of passion with you. They do feel a lot of passion for you, and they do feel like you guys can take a new path of some kind of long-term commitment here. So they feel there's an opportunity here for stability and stableness. And they're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating with that with the seven card energy. Okay, so what's the blockage between these two? What's the blockage between Leo and Leo's ex-love interest? What's the blockage between Leo and Leo's ex-love interest? What's keeping these two apart? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's the blockage between these two romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to Okay, that feels good. Let me just grab a sip of tea real quick, Leo. Okay. There's a person that's slow walking things. They're taking their time. Knight of Pentacles energy. They're like wanting to move into a long-term commitment towards Virgo Capricorn energy, but they're slow walking. There's a lot of isolation being done here. Because someone's like, you know what? I don't know what I want. I really need to do some deep, heavy soul searching here with the Hermit card energy. Again, that could be a Virgo energy. Um, the full card is saying someone feels like there's a risk here. There's someone that feels like, I don't know if I want to take a risk. I don't know if I want to take a leap of faith here with the full card energy. There's an indecision happening here with the Two of Swords energy. So someone's just not certain what they want to do here. They're like, I don't know. I, you know, And obviously we have the cross card here and then I have it you know, um, 
it's mirroring to the hermit card energy so i know that it's some it could be something spiritual that could be the indecision here okay because the cross being here and then the hermit being there or for some of you there's a burden and challenge because someone is isolating themselves and separating themselves because of that and then aries sagittarius leo energy okay uh there is a person that they you know there there's a patient energy when it comes to passions okay so let's look at the central theme of why you guys uh, are separated at this moment or they're not together there is someone who wants to take a list of risk or a leap of faith to something new possibly the full card energy or someone feels that there's a risk involved with this the risk is there because of the fact that there is some deep heavy soul searching and this is looking at this knight of pentacles they're like you know what i'm not sure because i don't know if someone is slow walking they're taking their time when it comes to moving forward to long-term commitment right so i gotta get to the bottom and i gotta figure that out why is that the case and this is leaving this person or you indecisive about okay what do i want to do here with this two of swords energy so i'm going to be patient when i come to my passions although i do find uh this person very sexy and very attractive with the queen of wands energy Okay, so there's there's a person that just feels like there's a risk here in the bottom of this. And this the reason why is because they're feeling like, why is it taking so long to move into a long-term commitment here? What's happening? Okay. All right, so let's see how your ex-love interest feels about having a reconciliation with you in the month of March. So how does Leo's ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does Leo's ex-love interest feel about having a reconciliation with Leo in the month of March. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this person is still feeling like they're getting over some kind of hurt or pain with the Ten of Swords energy, or they're feeling like there's something that's backstabbing. They feel though that you would be a wise choice when it comes to passions. They do feel very passionate about you, Leo, and they do feel like they want to take a leadership role to, 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 to do this, to complete this. This person feels like they want to take charge. They want to use their willpower to take the reins and take charge of this to be victorious here um, because of something to do with some kind of ending or something that stopped here with the death card energy. And they feel like they want a just choice or a just decision. This person does feel like they want justice here. Okay. So they feel like they would be victorious if they, if, if you or them could take charge of this to be victorious. They feel like they, they want to take charge of this to be victorious because they do feel like you're a wise choice when it comes to passion. They do feel very passionate about you and they feel very, very attracted to you with that King of Wands energy. Um, but, uh, the reason why is because it's something, they want something to change or something to end here or something to stop here with the death card energy. And they want this hurt or pain to be completed and they want a just choice, a just decision, and they want justice in the situation. But the central theme is they would feel victorious if you guys reconciled. Okay. And 10 shows me they want to complete this. Okay. So now let's find out if you guys are going to reconcile. Will Leo reconcile with their ex-love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about the most. Will Leo reconcile with their ex-love interest? Will they get back together in the month of March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Will Leo reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of March? Okay, that feels good. Okay, well, there's an opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles, okay? So there is an opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles. Someone is holding on to the situation for a short success. There's a patient energy around this because there's a person that's like, all right, do I want to get my cup of love? Do I not want to get my cup of love? Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There is some kind of burden on someone's mind because they're still feeling hurt or there's something repetitive about this because we have the whip in this card with the 10 of wands energy and wow, two of cups. Okay, so this is a bit mixed for me, okay? So I see there's love here, two of cups. There is a soulmate connection, there's love here, and there's a choice here. There is an opportunity for you guys coming up for the March, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles energy because someone is holding on to the thought, the idea of wanting to do this. But there's still a patient energy here. I don't know if it's you or the other person that's trying to figure out 
all right, is the be is this the best bet for me on the emotional basis? I'm still feeling a lot of hurt or pain here and burden on my mind about this. And but on the same token, I want this choice to be made with the heart here with the two of cups energy. So the ace of pentacles tells me there's an opportunity for stability and stableness to complete this situation if there can be a choice made here. So I'm definitely leaning more towards the yes, but I would uh, preface, this, preface this on the fact that um, there's still going to be some things worked out here between you and this person. Um, because someone's still having uncertainty because they're feeling hurt. They're still feeling a little bit hurt about the situation, but they, and there's still a choice that needs to be made here with the two of cups energy. And it, it shows me with the heart here, but it's, there is an opportunity coming up for you guys in March to reconcile with this person. Okay. So let's find some advice for you. Leo. Let's have some advice. Can I have some advice for my Leos pertaining to their ex love interest. Can I have some advice for my Leos for their ex-love interest? What should they do? Show me the cards they need to see. The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What should they do about their ex-love interest? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. So Leo, if you want this, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, that's your advice. So if you want this, remember you have free will. So if you don't want this, then don't do this. And only if this resonates with you, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, my Leos, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great month, okay?